Welcome back guys, my name is Last no Meal and welcome to Half-Life. You all know that I should play Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and Episode 2, but uh, since this is a great game, I decided to start from Half-Life 1 because you know that I didn't have a clue what was going on when I started Half-Life 2, so I wanted to finish this Half-Life 1 first and see what the hell happened and how it all started and uh, this game is pretty cool so I'm playing Half-Life Source Edition because um, the graphics in the original one are pretty much, I don't know, shitty and it's really hard to to record because um, the resolution won't set and uh, it has been giving me problems but uh, I'm using this so it's gonna be awesome. Uh, without further ado, let's start this game, I'm gonna go with uh, chapter 1, I have all the chapters unlocked because if something happens, I have everything ready. So, Black Mesa inbound. Let's start this game. Um, I had some problems in... Um... And welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. Hello. Um, oh, New Mexico. Nice. <laughs> anyway, I had some problems with the weapons because they didn't show and... Um, I don't have a clue what's happening. So, I just hope that uh, it's fixed now because... Um, I didn't have a clue what happened. Anyway, guys. <clears throat> oh my god, this is amazing. With an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees. Then why am I sweating? Tell me that. <laughs> anyway. Um, as I said, I sh I, I was thinking of playing Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and 2 and finish this, but uh, since I always wanted to play Half-Life 1, I decided to do it now because... um. I never played it. I played um, like two chapters of it when I was a kid, but um, this game was scary for me when I was a kid, so I didn't want to play it. And now I want to do, and uh, yeah, because Half-Life 1 was a trillion times better than Half-Life 2. I mean, Half-Life 2 was amazing, I can't deny that. Every Half-Life game is amazing, but the Half-Life 1 had that unique look and everything, so it was nice. Okay, whatever you said, lady. And, um, I don't know how to fix the subtitles, like, I've been searching around the settings, but, um, I couldn't find, uh, like, where could I set the... No, I can't. Shit. I don't know how to set the subtitles. If you guys know how to set subtitles, it could be, it could be something in the console. Please let me know. I will be very grateful. Why that? I uh, <laughs> I want to keep my limbs outside. <laughs> Shit, I'm just kidding. Oh, look at that shit. And proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. All right, I'll do that. No problem. Um. So this is an infamous um train intro because it it lasts about ten minutes. So we're gonna just be running in this train for ten minutes. But um, I don't give a shit. I like this game already. Like it's so cool. It has that little. It has that look in it. I don't know how to explain this, but uh, it's quite cool. But uh, as I said, when I was a kid, I was so scared to play this game. Like all the headhumpers and stuff, they were giving me creeps, man, and uh, that's why I didn't play it. Gordon Freeman, male, age 27, education, PhD, MIT, theoretical physics. So he's a oh he's a wise guy. Nice position, research associate. Nice. Anomalous materials. So this could be like the highest level. Oh, clearance level three. Clear lens. I can't pronounce it. Clear something. Clear lens. Clear. I don't know. Look at that thing. It's like a giant bumblebee. If you have an nice. I want. I want that the thing. Areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines. Please contact our civilian recruitment division. 
Oh, it looks like Black Mesa is hiring new people, nice. So if you're a theoretical physicist or just a smart person, well, you can sign in. If the shit doesn't hit a fan in the meantime. Nice. Nice, nice, I love it. Alright, let's go, come on, game. Game. There you go. A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Miss I'm just gonna do that. Don't worry. It's all fixed. I just did a one console thing. Hey, look at that guy. If you feel you have been exposed to businessman or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your I know this guy from somewhere. He's looking at me. Look at this guy. Holy shit, he's scary. Your future depends on it. Well, this thing is leaking. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Hello. Now, let me go. Come on. Oh, another loading screen, nice. At least they're fast, at least these loading screens are quite fast. Alright, I'll do it. This woman will never shut up. Hello. Hello, my friend. Open up, come on. So, how's your morning? Feeling all right, dude. Oh, you're a silent type. Nice, nice. You don't speak much. Well, yeah. Come on, say something. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. Can we do this later? Sorry, sir. I've got to stay in my boat. Oh, okay. You're on duty. Nice. He's being professional. I'm a PhD, dude. Just don't. I will never shut up about my PhD. Like, if I had PhD in real life, I would never shut up. I would literally go from 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 person to person and just say, "Hey, I'm a PhD. Mm, I'm a theoretical physicist." Oh, holy shit! It's Einstein, dude. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Alright, I'll do it. Einstein. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, I get confused. I get confused every time. Let's go to the test chamber. If I remember correctly from the late seven years that I played this game. Um, before seven years when I played it. I think that, uh, oh shit. Holy shit. Soda pop. Let me get my soda, dude. Just, just. Just give me the soda, come on. Will you? Ah, it won't give me the soda. Shit. It's broken. Ah. So, I'm working in a top research facility with uh, equipment from space, and I can't even... Uh... <laughs> Look at this guy. <clears throat> to you. Um, so, I'm working in a top uh, research facility and they can't even fix a soda pop machine Welcome to the HEV so do I see my hands here I don't see my hands I don't see my hands god damn it what did the poor music start god damn it okay so well the music is nice I like it Boogie. I'm just dancing here. Yeah. Come on. I feel better already. With the music on. So they they also employing the DJs here. Nice. Nice and loading screen. Ah, the music stopped. Whoa, this was trippy. Holy shit. I'm not going here. Come on. Dun, dun, dun. I don't see my hood. Is that a problem with the game? I don't know. 
But um, I can't see if I have any weapons. I think I don't have any weapons. I don't know. I can't be bothered right now. Okay, you won't be bothered. Let's just go here. Hello. Hello. I like I like I like the how the the doors sound. Look at. Ooh, shit. Hello. Ah, Gordon. Here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-match spectrometer to 105 percent. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Alrighty. Test chamber. Like, why is he making so much fuss about the test chamber? Is this some kind of a, I don't know, MIT um, joke? I don't know. Oh, shit. Wait, I'll see I'm MIT. Come on. Just let me see. Dude, let me see. Holy shit. I'm just kidding. I'm going out of here. Come on. Where's the elevator now? There it is. Dudes, just chill. Most of the chill. Bye. You know? Anyway, let's see what the hell is that is there in that test chamber and um. Oh, look at that red line. Hm, I like this shit. Okay, another loading and we're ready. Whoa, they're fast. We'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. And an MIT and a PhD in all the other numbers and letters. Come on, just let just let me inside. Come on, you son of. Well, go ahead. All right, just just have confidence in me. Like, what could go wrong? Oh my God, look at this shit! Holy cow, what's inside? Oh my God, look at it! It's shiny. Holy shit! It's so shiny. I love it. Anyway, let's go up here. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon, your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Um, I just pressed the button, right? Oh, yeah. So, I finished PhD and, uh, sorry, I finished MIT and I'm now PhD in theoretical physics just to, just to press buttons. Nice. I love it. That's what smart persons do. They press buttons. Yeah, you do it. I'll just sit around and uh, look at my MIT diploma. Anything going on? Now. Nice, nice, nice. Cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Please work as quickly as you can. Don't worry, I'll just just sit around. I'll work quickly. Don't worry. Oh, 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 let me just go to it. Come on, leave me. Come on. Oh, nice. What do I do with this? Oh, I, I actually push it. Uh, come on. Uh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let me go. Come on, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Dude, dude, dude. Let me go. Shit. Shit. Oh, my God. Fuck. Oh, shit. 
Holy shit, let me go up. Oh shoot. Oh, I knew something would happen. Oh god damn it. Oh shit. Look at that thing. Some oh. They're falling down. Oh my god. Shit. 